This is one of the world's largest family controlled businesses. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the history of the Ford Motor Company. As an engineer, Henry Ford was interested in mechanics, and by June 4, 1896, he was already experimenting with an early form of motor vehicle that he called the quadricycle. He then launched the Detroit Automobile Company in 1899, and this became the Henry Ford Company by 1901. However, Ford ended up leaving the next year, and the company went on to reform as Cadillac. It didn't take long for Henry Ford to start his next company. On June 13, 1903, the Ford Motor Company of Dearborn, Michigan was incorporated. Ford was profitable right away. However, it was 1908's Model T that proved immensely popular and affordable at $850. The Model T became the first mass-produced automobile. Production went from a few cars per day at the outset to over 170,000 produced in 1912. By the next year, the company had perfected the assembly line, and this served to increase productivity even further. In 1920, over 1 million Ford cars were produced. Initially, output was slower due to high employee turnover. It was then that Henry Ford effectively invented the 8-hour workday and doubled the salaries of his employees. Productivity and sales increased, and other companies followed suit. Ford's social theories about manufacturing and its social effects were later named Fordism. Due to the success of Fordism and the rising efficiency of Ford's production, the already low price of the Model T continued to drop until it reached $290 in the 1920s. By this time, Ford had expanded overseas and was producing cars all over the world. In 1922, the company acquired the Lincoln Motor Company to cater to the luxury market. However, by the end of the 1920s, Ford was no longer considered innovative by the consumer and was falling behind other automakers like GM and Chrysler. Meanwhile, other automakers were selling more expensive cars, but they were also offering financing options to make them accessible. While Ford opposed this by saying it would hurt the economy in the long term, he eventually began offering monthly payment options in 1927. That year, he also retired the popular Model T. As the country suffered through the Great Depression, so did Ford. The company was forced to fire workers, and this led to a high unemployment rate in Detroit and resentment toward the company. Once the depression ended, the Mercury division of the company was founded to supply mid-priced cars in 1938. World War II followed, and Ford manufactured equipment for both the Allies and the Axis. Henry Ford and the company were then accused of Nazi sympathy, and by the end of the war, the company was losing $9 million a month. Soon after, Henry Ford died at the age of 83 on April 7, 1947. However, the company didn't slow down. By 1948, they had introduced the successful F-Series of pickup trucks. In 1955, Ford introduced the symbolic Thunderbird model. Though the company disappointed in 1958 with their Edsel line of cars, their success continued into the 1960s with models like the Falcon and the iconic Mustang. However, one of the biggest failures in the Ford catalog was 1971's Pinto. Design flaws caused the car to be prone to exploding in a collision, and the model is credited with causing a number of deaths. Despite the terrible press the company received, Ford bounced back by the 1980s and released a number of popular models. The Lincoln Town Car first appeared in 1981 and replaced the Continental. Under the Ford name, the Escort was introduced that same year and became one of the company's most successful models. Another triumph was the Ford Taurus. Starting as a 1986 model, this sedan was the best-selling car in the United States for four years. Also introduced as an 86 was the Ford Aerostar minivan, which was Motor Trend's truck of the year for 1990. Throughout the years, Ford has acquired and sold various other car companies, including Jaguar, Land Rover, Aston Martin, and Volvo cars. Like many U.S. automakers, they have struggled in recent years. However, with innovative efforts like their SYNC technology, Ford is back on track as a pillar of the American auto industry.